Well, good day, YouTube. So here's an update. <clears throat> I got uh, labs done last week, Thursday. Um, Three-day weekend, yeah, yeah. So I go, I got my re results back last night. <clears throat> so everything looks, everything looks normal. Um, according to this. A ferritin is at 35. And if you, I think, I think if you go by this lab's last test, it was 34. It was 34 point something. And the rheumatologist, he pulled the iron panel and said it was like, 23 but uh, you know I just go by this lab so um, I'm looking at my results right now so everything looks all right there won't be any phlebotomy and there probably won't be for a while and so like I said the ferritin's 35 you know, I, I think a phlebotomy would just make me anemic. The doctor is going to send a letter like he always does. He'll probably say I'm slightly anemic still. But, you know, my hematocrits, 38, they're a little bit low. Um, not much. Normal range, 41 to 50. But no one really cares about that too much. Um except for the phlebotomies. And so, liver functions, they all look good. And there's just really, the only other thing is the glucose was a little bit on the high side. So, and I have been eating sweets. So it was more sweets than I probably should. So, uh, Dr. Barber won't say anything about that. So, I'm sure he's just going to say, um, just pull the iron labs and, and the CBC in three months. That's probably what he's going to do. And then, um, I had him check my ammonia level. He didn't think it was necessary. But, uh, I just told him a couple times, you know. I wanted to check, so, you know, that came out at, uh, 75, but they don't, they don't go by a number per se, they'll say 75 is kind of high, but the doctor told me again, don't, you know, don't go by the numbers, it's how, it's how you feel up here. And that's what ammonia does. And so, you know, I've been a lot higher. And I've been down to 55. I think the last one was 55, I believe. You know, so I'm at 75. So maybe I'll just take a little bit more of that banana juice. You know, that's kind of how I regulate it. And it is what it is. But it it's not worrisome. Uh, basically, there's just nothing bad here. And they're not going to do anything. Oh, um, potassium. I talked about trying to get off the potassium. So I went from 4.5 to 4.2. You know, and he cut my dose in half. And so he should just tell me to quit taking it. I really don't need it. You know, I, I really, I don't. So he'll probably cut that out, and then um, the uh, other medication I take for these this joint pain and muscle pain is uh, uh, no, I can't remember the name of it. Dang it! But anyways, they doubled that um, last week. We doubled the, <laughs> doubled down on the dose on that. And uh, I'm still not at max dose, but I, I, I don't know. I think we need, it's called pregabalin is 
That's what it's called. But I'll give this a month. But it uh, I think I think there might be something else out there to try. And there is. He told me this is just the first drug he has me on. But I will say um, this. Um, it stopped the restless leg, like right now on day one, and I don't know, you know, maybe a slight improvement in the joint pains, and it's tolerable, it's livable, uh, it sucks, but you know, it's better than being a pile of ashes. So there's that, you know. And so anyways, I'll give this a month. Um, I had no effect when I doubled the dose. If you remember back when I first started this, it threw my head for a loop for like four days. And I almost gave up. I hate, I hate it when they say, oh, you know, it takes a week or two weeks to get used to it. But they just don't get what it's like trying to get used to it. Anyways, for me, you know. It, even the four days, it was hell, you know, I just, I don't like it, I just don't like it. Um, that's about it, really, you know. What I'll do now is I'll probably just schedule a Red Cross drop in three months. I'll wait and see what the doc says, but um, I pretty much already know what he's going to say. And so I've already talked to him about doing the Red Cross dumps, and, you know, that's great. Um, it's a lot cheaper than paying for it. You know, it's 490 bucks when I go get a blood <laughs> blood dump. And Red Cross gives you a $25 gift card. <laughs> so, you know, so that's probably will be my plan. We've already, like I said, we've already talked about it. So I'll... I'll I'll look around. I have a little bit already. And uh, just haven't looked more yet. But I will, you know. Uh, I'm not ready to, to pull a drop yet. I, I know that. And I, three months waiting. You know, if we go by this lab. I'm, I, I'll just open it up. But I'm pretty sure I only gained a half a point. So... I'm looking in my portal right now. So, iron levels, the last ones were on December 16th. And shows, oh, ferritin was 33.4. And so, I guess, bait more or less a you know a point and a half and that doesn't warrant anything <clears throat> you know my saturation level is still low and that's probably another reason it's 9.5 so that's the production i think that helps in the production of red blood cells I, maybe I'm wrong on that. I probably am. <clears throat> Trying to remember all this stuff. And the transferrin was high. And that's no biggie really. But. You know. My hemoglobin. And my hematocrit. If one's low. They're both are going to be low. Basically. So my hematologist. Hematologist. He went by the hematocrit number. To determine. The blood drops and my new doctor he goes by hemoglobin and from what I can see you know it's about 50 50 you know it doesn't really matter as long as they don't make you just uh, totally anemic so that's where I'm at there um, appointment coming up next week yeah next week on the 28th have to go inland uh, gastrologist checkup it's kind of going to be dependent on the weather but hopefully the snow is cleared out and the roads are good by then they they should be you know that's six days away so 
and uh, don't really have any concerns there. I think we got like one thing on the list to ask, and that's going to be seeing her um, her PA physician assistant. But uh, that's about it. You know everything. Oh, I gained. I guess I'm gaining weight. I don't remember what I said last time, but I'm just stepping on the scales now at 185, and that's great. You know, I guess. Um, well, it is. It's great. You know, it's weight that I thought that I thought I would never, never gain back, and uh, and I was kind of under the impression that that I that it wouldn't grow back but uh I wouldn't gain it back I'm getting distracted by my cat here but, yeah there she is but uh she just noticed the camera um anyways back to the back to the weight 185 and uh you know if I creep the 190 I'll have to change my ways. Um, I'm eating good, but you know, you can, it's not fudging really, you know, I can eat sweets, you know, and uh, that's kind of what's happened some, you know, but I, I try to eat good protein foods, chicken and you know, and I do eat red meat, you know, that's fine. You know, basically it's still the same. They just tell me to eat whatever I want to eat. No special diet, just watch the sodium, you know. And I'm sure I'll hear it again next week, you know. And, uh, we'll see how it, see how it goes. Should get a letter here. Next couple of days, doctor send one. Um, it's kind of different, but it's kind of nice when he sends the letters instead of just a phone call. Um, he's take. It's got to be taking more time to get this in the letter form than it would on a phone call, you know. And then I just put it in, you know. Well, I don't, but you know, it gets put into um, the binder and. And uh, yada yada. We can look back on it, you know. Um, uh, our friend sadly has passed away. Um, I talked about him in my other series. I don't think I have yet here. Um, anyways, he's passed away. He'll get a uh, military funeral. Uh, next month, I believe on the 10th, and uh, so the wife will head down to that, it's, it's way down, you know, it's down there out of Redding, I think it's Red Bluff area to tell you the truth, but uh, he'll, he'll get that, and his wife's been up, and so my wife's been able to go over, you know, and visit. And yada yada. So there's the update on that. Um, sad. But, you know, this time last year, pretty much it's pretty much right, right around this time last year. A little before, I guess in January. But sometime in January. That's when they told me I only had six months left to live. And now, 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 look at me now, you know, no, but, you know, this gives, gives us hope, you know, and I just, I don't really have any complaints other than the stupid, you know, this joint pain and the rheumatologist, he said something about, he thought maybe that big crash of two, of 22 that I had you know, contributed to this, my body reacting this way, and I, I don't really know. I, I haven't researched it. 
that uh, he did say he did bring that up, and you know, because this is all started at the same time. You know, I didn't have any issues until the big crash of '22, but uh, little news, I guess, on my wife. Um, I haven't said anything, but. Um, she's had some problem here, you know, with her woman bits and some testing been going on and she had finally had a biopsy, um, last week or the week before, a week before, but she finally got the results in too on, I guess, Monday night and, you know, they, they came back clear, um, they checked her for cancer and that kind of, uh, whatever. I don't know much about it. I think they took the biopsy from her uterus, I believe. I'm not sure. But uh, it, it's all clear, and so <clears throat> that's good. But it still wasn't an answer, really, to her problems. Um, it's just... I don't know if it's normal, but... You know, sometimes when women get up to our age, you know, she's she's the same age, so. And they still have all their women bits. They can cause issues. And um, so she did talk back and forth through the portal, which is great. And I'll try to remember I did that too. But so... The message came through on her portal, yada yada, and so it came back all clear, and so she just responded back with, "Well, you know, the problem just not gone, you know, it's still there." And I guess they already talked about some uh, hormone therapy, and so they called her in a script for that. Supposed to be on it for six months and then off for a while. I don't know. We we'll have to do some research on it, and. Um, see how that goes you know hopefully they won't have to take her woman bits but i don't know how long i think you can have them all your life you know as long as, as long as nothing's wrong with them but a lot of, i just know a lot of women you know have to have the hysterectomy and it fixes the problem and and hopefully they can leave an ovary, I believe. So they still get a hormone. So it's, anyways. That's where I'm at, folks. You know. A little bit of snow on the beach today. <clears throat> snow flurries off and on. Nothing sticks. We, we had some stick, you know, but it's like, doesn't cover the ground and. You couldn't even build a golf ball size snowman. <laughs> and, uh, but it's interesting. It doesn't happen very often. Three or four times I've seen it in uh, 10 years I've lived here on the beach now. And we, ha we have had a few inches one time. But I don't know. I think, I think they say we should get like two to four inches here tonight but i don't ever believe the weatherman because we live in a banana belt <clears throat> and so our weather just does whatever i mean really it that's just the way it is <clears throat> but so i guess i'm going to cut this one here pretty short um like i said everything is going fine um, no real complaints. It's hard to, hard for me to complain the way I feel now compared to the way I felt a year ago. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't mean I'm all better. I just, I don't have nothing to really worthy of complaining about. Sure, my joints hurt. You know, my, all my joints hurt. And some muscle pain, especially in my thighs. I don't know what the deal is and with that. But 
it's not worth complaining about, so I really don't. And it doesn't do no good. I will say, I do know when the bad weather's coming in. And there's truth in that. Yeah, and I can tell we could have no rain, which just happened here. We didn't have any rain for, I don't know, maybe a week. And just regular winter beach weather. And then in the middle of one night, I just woke up like at three and, you know, and I was hurting. And usually yeah, I'm sleeping through the night, you know, and I had to get up because I couldn't get back to sleep. And when I did, it was raining, <laughs> you know, I'm like, dang, I should have known it was raining. And I felt this snow, cold weather, snowy crap come in and uh, you can tell and uh nothing you can do about it but try not to move <laughs> try not to move you know but yeah as long as i don't move everything's fine no nah, but it's all good uh we're just still hanging out and have to worry about both of us now still looking for some property talk about a lot of different things one thing for me right now I can't really do what I do best and and that's just to fuck off <laughs> you know and I'm good at it and uh, that's what I'm doing here and uh, I came over here to fuck off and that's Sorry for the language, but that's just exactly what I'm doing. You know, I don't hide it. And, uh... I don't know. It's just... It's just me, you know? So now it kind of makes it hard Well, I, where I have these trusted doctors now. I have this trusted team of doctors. And it is a team of doctors. You know? And I don't want to leave that for something less, you know. It'd be like starting all over. So, I don't know. Short trips still, you know. As far as moving. It, and I really hate to move inland. And, you know. But that's where my health care is. But I'm close enough to it still that we can deal with it, you know. Once every three months, so, you know, the drive to Medford. Yeah, it sucks. It's a long day. It's all day, you know. But it's not that often. Once every three months. That's about all I got, folks. I'm going to try real hard this time to grow my beard out. I'm going to shoot for the entire for the entire year. And if you followed my other videos on this, you know I usually don't make it very far, very long. I'm actually right at that point where I just want to cut it all off, you know. It grows all weird. Gray hair just grows weird anyways. Mine does, I don't know, but we'll give we'll give it a shot to no shave twenty three and uh see, see what happens. Yeah, it gives me something to look forward to, I guess. But uh That's about all I got. I'll update I guess next week after my appointment. Be the next day or it won't be the same day, but I will get my Abby's pizza one way or the other. And um, I do have to go back inland on March 15th uh, for another doctor appointment. And uh, I needed to get in to see him because I haven't seen him for a year. And uh, it's time, you know, <laughs> I ran out of medicines. <laughs> Anyways, so it's time to see him. And uh, should have saw him six months ago. Uh, but
but I obviously it didn't work that way. And so that's a drive inland to Roseburg. Um, they've got offices over here, which I usually just drive up to um, Coquille. And um, he's got an office there, and that's usually where I see him. And they got an office in in Reedsport as well, which is farther north, <laughs> yeah, and quite a bit farther north. And then they got an office in Grants Pass, and then their main office is in Roseburg. So that was the soonest I could get in without really pushing it out farther than I wanted by a month or two months. So I get Happy's Pizza again on the 15th of March. And so that's kind of like two back-to-backs, but usually I see that doctor every six months. And he usually pulls blood work on me once a year to check my liver functions because of the drugs that he gives me. And uh, we'll get Lyme back out. I have to get, I'm going to get off the biologicals, that's for sure. Um, ho hopefully. And I've uh, been on them a long time. And time to change up, but uh, that's where I'm at on that. So that's that's it. I guess I've said that a couple of times. Um, I'll go ahead and get get off of here and see if I can't get this uploaded. Um, G23. I know you watch these. I hope you're doing good, brother. Um, this is for you. You know, I'll be in Roseburg. Abby's Pizza, um, 15th, which is a Thursday. Um, should be a good day for you, hopefully. Um, and I should be out of my doctor around 3 to 3.30 should be done. And so maybe do pizza, you know, I can, if you want to do it, I can text you uh, or call you. <clears throat> um, and I hope you're healing good, brother. Um, I won't talk about, you know, your, what's going on with you, but, uh, I really hope you're doing better, brother, you know. And I hope to see you for pizza, and you and your wife, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll break some pizza together. <laughs> but uh, keep that in mind, brother. So I'm out of here. Just get this uploaded. I think the dog needs to go outside and... I don't feel like using my pause option. I'm just going to uh, close the video out. So, uh, check up on you guys on this um, next week, end of the week, and um, peace out.